Hello, ladies and gentlemen, cosmonauts and astronauts, humans and Kerbals, and welcome back to Kerbal Rocket Alchemy. So we practically done our Duna mission. Yeah, only well, it's more than a year for return window, <laughs> and we got quite some money. We got quite some science. Well, let's go on. And uh, our new scientist trial was so pleasant to al calculate another transfer window. So about 55 days plus minus will be the transfer window to if. I'm not sure if we will be able to make a proper ascent vehicle. Well, if it seems vi viable, we might send two, and if the first uh, works, then we might use the second for an actual piloted mission. In any case, we have our time limit, we have some our destination, and we have to assemble something. And uh, let's gather the signs. So, with what's in this lab, it will already be over 5,000. Oh, and since we are getting data from the lab, well, <laughs> yeah, Bob and Caulfield have all, also have almost half a ton of science. Let's transmit their science as well. Because now that we have enough to upgrade the R&D facility, we will use every bit of science. Okay, back to the space center, and uh, let's get to our serious part. So, first of all, the R&D. Well, we still have two millions for uh, everything else we need. <laughs> okay. First of all, well, more than five thousand seconds. Let's see what of this all. We really do need. So, gravity detector and uh, the resource convert <laughs> mine and, and converters. Definitely yes. And I think we'll get all the parts. This, well, this thing might be really useful. The container is relatively optional. Do we take the RTG? Well, I say yes, just for the sake of it. It's a very good, not only for deep space probes, but also as a backup power source for well piloted crafts. Okay, 
because to not get in tricky situations well and we suddenly get out of power okay hmm this not really necessary maybe this core will be really needed in the direct future Okay, there is not that much left now. Do we go for the huge rockets? Well, I definitely want this docking port. Looks like we are not getting repairs this time, but... Yeah, the spikes. Yeah, you know what? We really do need air spikes. <laughs> if we want to build... Some efficient things. <laughs> well, anything we really need from this part. Say these engines are a go. Okay, that's our current situation. We'll still uh, have science news for about the same amount of science as we were just spent. And uh, since our Duna mission is coming home uh, anywhere soon, well, we'll have to do something. We <laughs> yeah, not sufficient to get this, but maybe we'll get uh, the sign since we have a new experiment research also we'll have to start working on resource mining okay what we have on near Kerbin operations a bunch of contracts has accumulated so what is this five kerbals on moon key point four What this? Built in your post on Windows. <laughs> Twelve kerbals. I'm not sure what I was thinking about accepting this contract, but yeah, why not? We are going to send a mining creek there. It may have the crew capacity for this. <laughs> okay, first and first. 
a satellite for the moon since we have a contract for it and uh, let's use our SST launch vehicle barely has fuel left well should be enough for the orbiting barn uh, let's decouple the satellite ok now the thing in question is if we are getting proper injection into lunar orbit well inserting into polar orbit from such approach vector will result in significantly different longitude of ascending node. Okay, this looks like a proper approach vector. We'll just need some plane correction to get our new self into polar orbit with proper periaps. Well, still today until the transfer window. Okay, let's... I don't know, the orbit may be around here somewhere. Yeah. Let's check this kind of re-entry trajectory. a bit too early and that's even without the air brake deployed shouldn't have made the trajectory this steep it has landed safely and uh, well not that far from KC ok vehicle recovered and guess what another launch why? well why not to launch such a satellite to Minmus as well? Oh well. Another satellite deployed. I feel too lazy to click on the panel. <laughs> yeah. Another thing to do? Well... The sensor finds um, um, changes in the gravity field of Kerbin. The science team will want to see those readings. <laughs> Very well. Let's send them. Okay, what do we have? If we attempt to do it like this. Must be as good as it gets. Guess what? <laughs> Division by zero. <laughs> I 
because I didn't have the engine activated. Okay, we'll, we'll do it, we'll just have to slightly correct to insert even in a bit lower orbit. And that's very well. Now we have to land the launch vehicle. Oops. <laughs> Apparently I was I was going to make uh, some well the orbit and the script for this vessel and see how well it gets to KC but well occasion yeah I managed to activate the large script instead. <laughs> Long story short, well, we are in suborbital trajectory anyway, so let's land. And uh, well, since the stage is a shoot, I had to put them like this. here and there don't change much at this stage of the game well we got some transmissions from the satellite and now well now we can afford this thing not okay I'm not sure if well <laughs> For which missions I will use it in the end, for which I want, but why not to have it? Okay. We still got a bunch of unresearched notes. And since we don't have that much time before new window, I think we really sure should deal with what's going on on and around Minmus. And here we have another launch. Well, first of all, there is something I want to do about the station in orbit of Minmus. Definitely need uh, some upgrades, especially for its power system. So we are taking a new module. And there is also a scientist at the station that has only one star. Well, let's finish her training. She still needs to get to solar orbit. And then bring her back to Kerbin. And we have another rescue contract to blow Kerbin orbit. So let's take that Kerbal on the way and also train a bit. Okay, get to the ship. <laughs> well, we are flying to Minmus as well. Let's get rid of that capsule.
Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, we might be a bit low on fuel. Oh well, we only have to drive this to that station. Besides, if we are sending a mining, mining equipment there, well, that fuel problem may be easily solved. Okay, and here it's something I totally over-engineered. <laughs> totally. At well, you asked for 12 Krugways, well, this even fits 50. <laughs> oh. But that's not what it really is about. Well, I think this should be a proper fuel facility that can get to orbit and refuel everything. But you might already see the problem. Well, it didn't fit under a fairing. <laughs> Therefore, let's hope it doesn't crash. But for the worst case scenario, I made the capsule detachable. And with parachutes. Anyway, three, two, one. was way too stupid. <laughs> Damn it. I first checked the staging, then added these things. And of course I went to the wrong stage and I didn't even notice. Okay, let's let's see the damage. One. Okay, one hundred twenty-eight thousand for repairing that launch pad, and well, three hundred fifty-six thousand for the spacecraft itself. Not that much, actually. Could be worse. <laughs> okay. Second try. Three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. Well, we might have overloaded this engine a bit. Oh well, we 
such aerodynamic characteristics we definitely don't want to go too fast to low Careful. This was a totally over-engineered and efficient thing that is uh, not really covered by the contract and even worse, that managed to make itself more than twice more expensive. Oh well, at least looks like it will arrive to minus. It's quite a bunch of fuel. And just to refuel that craft and the other uh, dock to the station. We didn't drop this. We'll uh, pump some fuel into it for transfer burn, and then we'll crash it into Minmus. much fuel actually left in that stage. Oh well, we'll have to do correction so that it runs <laughs> the stage crashes into Minmus and then then well might be an option to navigate this to <laughs> the station <laughs> before landing. <laughs> and we'll split the episode here, so see you next time. Bye!